and in today's video cast I'm going to be carrying on from yesterday so yesterday's um, video I was looking at when in time you were responding um, and today I'm going to be asking the question who are you responding to um, because quite often um, when you're responding to someone whether it's your partner your kids yourself um, you are often not responding from the present moment of now so very rarely do you hear your partner or your child talk to you as your partner and child in the real time that they're doing so and you respond to them and their question or whatever it is that they're doing their actions you very rarely respond from this present moment in time because you do the when that I spoke about yesterday so because you are always out the moment even though you might tell yourself and believe that you're not you mostly are out the moment of now and because there's these conversations and battles going on inside of your head going over these arguments that you haven't finished or had or you're just going back to an old memory when your loving partner or child asks you or does something in the moment of now you're responding from that place where the argument is going on to them which is why obviously when you do respond it's not a good place to respond from and it can cause a lot of pain and a lot of resentment, a lot of hurt to the person that is at the receiving end of that. Um, and so I was also reflecting on the who are you responding to because quite often we can almost superimpose or what's known in therapy circles as transfer um, or project someone from our past onto our lover, our partner, or onto our child. So that when we're responding to them, even though we know we're looking at them, not only, we, or not only are we responding from this old argument in our head, but we're responding to someone from our past as if it's them so quite often um, you if you've grown up in a family where you've had a very um, dictatorial upbringing whether it was a really um, dictator type father figure or mother figure um, this is just a very simplified version so that you can understand what I'm talking about quite often people that have grown up in those homes can respond to loving questions or questions that don't mean anything um, to the person asking it they can trigger the person that's being brought up in that sort of home to respond as if they're responding to that person the father or the mother who who had those characteristics so when you're trying to change which i was speaking about yesterday i was giving you some tips and strategies on that when you're trying to change those behaviors it's really trying to respond in this real time the time of now so you take that pause and you look at who it is and you remind yourself that's my that's my loving wife that's all that's my loving husband or that's my sweet innocent child who's just asking because they don't know um, taking that pause before you respond and do what we call this automatic reaction which can happen at warp speed so before you've even managed to stop yourself you've gone bah, and, you, and you, you're hitting back you're striking back at your partner or your child as if they are that dictatorial parent um, and this can be, it doesn't have to be the dictatorial parent, it could be an, another trigger. And only you know what that role is that's triggered you or that does trigger you. And only you will know who it is that you're responding to when you respond like that. And then also, not only the response, I would like you to also think about the behaviours that come with that. So are you someone that withdraws their love? are you someone that what kind of um, sulks do you go off and sulk do you punish your partner or your children by not speaking to them what do you do 
because if you do do any of those behaviors they are not conducive to healthy loving partnerships or parenting skills and so once again it's about going back and having a think about where did I learn that and you might go oh yeah my mum did that or mum or mum did that to dad or dad did that and I saw mum do that as a response or I saw this or I saw that or you know that you could only get someone's attention when you were young by sulking or by doing this behavior because only then would they shout at you and tell you not to do it or tell you not to do it or they'd come and find you and talk to you about it which again is attention isn't it so you would have learned that whatever technique you would adapted is the one that gets the attention but you don't need to do that anymore because you're an adult but you haven't dropped we don't drop these behaviors just because we become 21 or 25 or 30 we don't just suddenly go oh i'm i'm of a certain age i'm gonna i'm gonna drop all of these habits that i've had since a child and i'm gonna gonna pick up some new ones we only tend to get to those places when we know that our relationships are a threat or maybe they we have had relationships end repeatedly and we don't want that to happen anymore or you know that your child is being harmed in some way by your your behaviors um i'm talking about emotional you, know, you might see your children aren't happy so those are the things that might inspire you and get you sort of on your knees where you go right i'm gonna have to change the what i do um and so if you're looking for those tips and strategies and ways to actually change then to make that change you've got to do something different and in order to do something different you kind of have to know where it comes from so when like I did yesterday when in time and who you're responding to are the first key things to really look at in order to change so um, yeah so just some tips and strategies there for today leading on from yesterday so I hope that gives you some food for thought I hope it gives you something to think about um, and keep going if you are wanting to change things that you do or maybe you're living with someone who you want to change um, that's a real hard thing to do but maybe they you, if, if they're willing to change then obviously you can show them some, some of my videos but obviously you can't change anyone they're going to have to change themselves if they want to you have to accept somebody just the way that they are but you you are the only one that can change you and you have that power by investing that into you and because you want to so it won't, it won't be hard it will still be hard but it won't be as hard as or as impossible as trying to change someone else because you can't do that all right um have a great day thanks for watching thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to yeah check in with me and speak to you tomorrow bye bye